Turn back out. Everything, the 2024 NBA season is proven so far. I thought this just kind of happened at the All Star break. I guess this is a good time, December. Yeah. Twenty two. It felt like the Warriors switch out, shout out, switch were out. literally on top of the basketball world, as they normally yeah. do. They seemed to find a gem late in the first round, who was playing like the third Splash Brother in Jordan Poole. Clay Thompson came back and wasn't quite the Clay Thompson we knew, but it was <laughs> just the way the he looked in this. Team, and he had his moments. Andrew Wiggins made the entire basketball. No, oh, okay. Clay Thompson you came back and, and wasn't stuff, quite you know the Clay Thompson we knew, but it was great for the team. It was a good moment though to see him back. He had his moments. Andrew Wiggins made the entire basketball community apologize, becoming one of the more versatile two-way wings in the sport, and it looked like he found a home. Draymond was still the loud Draymond, being the anchor of the team, and of course, he's going to let everybody know how good they actually were. And Steph, he had one of the best overall seasons of his entire career. Yeah. This propelled them into winning their fourth championship in like an eight-year span. Yeah. Match that with the contracts they maintained and what looked like <laughs> walking while he crying span. like he just got Match a whoop in his own. With the con <laughs> contracts they maintained and what looked to be the perfect blend of young and vet talent. And it felt like this team was actually going to have a shot at even more success going forward. But two years later, this thing seems to be over. And I mean, for yeah. real this time. As I record this video, it's December 9th. If you go back to November 9th, the Warriors have been one of the worst teams in the entire sport. They're actually down there with the four worst teams in the NBA. Why? Well, out of everybody attempting at least seven threes a night, Klay Thompson, one of the best shooters ever, is one of the worst in the league. Andrew Wiggins is actually having the worst season of his entire career. Mm. He's very inefficient, mm -hmm. and he's a minus 82 when he's on the court. That's by yeah. far the worst on the team. They still turn the ball over at an extremely high clip, as they always have. And Stephen Curry, he simply needs help. Yeah. Jordan Poole wasn't the only problem with his team. He's and only one. That's evident. If they don't make a major move, and I mean a big move by the deadline, I truly believe it's safe to say this run is officially over. And I mean for real this time. Yeah. Might be, yeah. Damn. That shit crazy. Who would have Who would have thought Golden State I had to try to do it all over again? Like go a whole rebuild mode. That's crazy. They don't trade Steph though. But today's video is sponsored. Steph he by DraftKings. Ha true! Ha true! Ha true! Ah, in your account instantly. If you want to have more fun with that 150, you can use DraftKings same game parlays where you can combine multiple bets from the exact same game. Oh, sure. Sure. For that team. The state struggles. Um, yeah. from Golden State. Uh, get back in the up to a point of, of kind of like disrespectful, like, and then Jordan. Uh -huh. Jordan Poole. Highly disappointed in Jordan Poole. But when I'm watching him, right. I don't think he has. I think. I think he was toying with the league to a point of, of kind of like disrespectful, like, yeah. like I'm, it's so sweet out here, like, for real, like he I can do what to, I want out here, you know what I'm saying? Like he was, he, he was, need he, to get back in the lab. He need to get back in the lab and just get serious for a little bit. Yeah, and and, and right. he looks like he's having too much fun in other place, court. off the court. It, it does not look like he's doing anything. He does not even look like the same Jordan Poole from, um, yeah. from Golden State. Even though Golden State struggles True. weren't all Jordan Poole, he was a major issue for that team, especially in the postseason. Jordan with Washington now as, I guess, the face of the franchise, it's crystal clear that he's not the guy to lead any team, even a bad team. Before the season even started, he made a comment that personally I really didn't rock with. He said his legacy was set in stone for that championship he won. And essentially, it feels good to play and be the face of a franchise with no pressure. Well, this year, Jordan has been one of the worst players in the league, especially <laughs> given the volume in which he shoots and how much he has the ball. The Wizards Bro, this nigga are really obviously said that. one of the worst teams in the Hey, sport. I ain't gonna lie, he called Jordan Drake. has played in 20 games this year. In he, half the game. He called Draymond an expensive book bag. Hey. Draymond starting to show signs of being an expensive book bag. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I heard I seen a comment. They said Jordan was actually right. I mean, yeah, man. You, you know the players really gonna know who is what. Like, you gotta think about it. They literally play on the team, so they know everything that's going on. So, it's like, and Draymond, the nigga don't be doing shit low-key, low-key. You know? like, he do shit, but not, it just don't hit the same. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. 
So they could have probably, it's probably should have killed Jordan. I don't know. This man has shot under 40%. Half. We know he's not Steph. The added attention he gets now being quote unquote the man in Washington, it made him way less efficient. And he makes very bonehead decisions. Out of every player yep. this bonehead season, decisions. Jordan Poole and Kyle Kuzma, two players that won championships with legends, and I guess they can play free now. They have the two worst plus minuses in the league. That duo worst duo. is terrible. <laughs> Out of every player that right. shoots as many times as Jordan has Poole does, he's one of the least efficient in the league. Not to pile on this man. But Jordan Poole isn't quite what we thought he was. And him having his own team, quote unquote, well, you might well go on our home and play with Giannis. Direction because they're Finish. getting a very uh, high draft pick, hopefully. Uh, the Rudy Gobert experiment, it actually works way better than we originally thought. Last year, it. Oh, yeah. This, this is true right here. This is true. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This, this one works better. Yeah. We all, yeah. I seen the thumbnail, yeah, Rudy Gobert, we apologize, bro. We thought this shit wasn't gonna work. We was wrong. Everybody somehow making it work some kind of way. I don't know how they do it, but they doing it right. Even Rudy Gobert, I think he didn't have like 20 now, like 20. Like whoever thought he would have been a scorer. I know he was like defensive player. Anybody won it again. Year together, and they battled injuries, and they made major roster changes during the year. So we never really got to see them at their full potential. I remember doing this exact same video last year and seeing the exact opposite. I thought it was a major fail. But like Ant even said recently, Rudy Gobert is actually the reason they're as good as they are right now. Yes, Anthony Edwards' development is a big reason they're good. He's nah. a superstar to face of the franchise, obviously. Yeah. But the reason they're arguably the best be in the league is their defense. Led yeah. by the defensive player of the year front runner currently, Rudy Gobert. Minnesota, they have the best record in the sport. Minnesota, they have the best point differential in the West. Minnesota, they're giving up the least amount of points a night. Minnesota, they're giving up the third least amount of points in the paint. That's the Rudy Gobert presence. Minnesota, they're second in the league in blocks. Minnesota, they're forcing teams to shoot the least efficiently in the entire NBA. And like 90% of that is Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert so Rudy has Gobert. the best individual defensive rating in the sport. Rudy Gobert is second in the league in blocks. Teams are shooting the worst two-point percentage in the league because of how much court this man actually covers. Oh, and he's grabbing the third most rebounds a night. All he really ever crazy. needed, even going back to Utah. And he's getting better um, at like getting better um, uh, perimeter. Can guard the perimeter, and his greatness was always evident. If you want to know his true impact on how and why they're actually winning games, the Timberwolves... They have the 16th best. I ain't gonna remember Curry made his ass dance. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. That's you know, shout out my nigga A.E. though. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. Number one, led by Rudy Gobert. Mm -hmm. That's the reason they have the best weak ass cut, league. though. That trade and it the contract weak, is lie. more than worth it. We, <laughs> we were all wrong. Zion yeah. Williamson, yeah. he's just not that dude, bro. He's just not. Talented, but I don't know if he's ever going to be fully committed. Physically, this man is just way out of shape. And yeah, he, just tech, he looks heavier than I've ever seen him, and he's not moving well. And to me, it's extremely unfortunate. Yeah. I actually supported him. If you go back to my bold prediction video, I said I thought he would come back determined and hungry from the public. You know what's crazy? The Pelicans, they was actually good. Like when Zion, like last year, like they was a top team. Then he got hurt, then, you know, they fell off. And now he came back and he's like, what happened to that fire that he had when he, you know what I'm saying? Like, what happened? You know, like, what the fuck? Because they was going to be low-key a contender, too, low-key. Low was Like, it was going to be a good West. It was going to be a very interesting West. I know he got hurt and they fell off, but, like, he came back and he, he just can't get What happened to that, that energy that they had? Because they was cooking up. You know, like, what, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Creation he had all last year. And it looks like it's the polar opposite. It sounds nitpicky because he's talented and he's always going to put up solid numbers for most people. Facts. But he's averaging career lows in points, rebounds, field goal percentage, and defensively, he's very lazy. It's sad yeah. because New Orleans, they have one of the best, deepest young hey, players in the league. Uh. They have like seven players averaging double figures. Hey. That team doesn't really lack much. They have wings. They have size. They have shot creators. They have potential. But what should be the best player on their team, at only like 23 years old, he doesn't seem committed. And his main problem coming into the That's league actually seems to be getting worse. Yeah. The Philadelphia 76ers, 
they don't really need James Harden. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying this to diminish James Harden or what he's done or how good he was or how good him and MB were last year. They put up historically great numbers individually and together. But the offense without James Harden is actually a little bit better. Now, all of it isn't the absence of James Harden. A lot of it is Nick Nurse and how free and fluent the offense is with his coaching. Last year, it was very stagnant and predictable at times. But this year, they're scoring more points. Joel Embiid is averaging yeah, yeah, a MVP. career high again. And 33. not only that, he's averaging six assists a night. Without Harden, and obviously with way more opportunities, Tyrese Maxey, he's taking a massive leap. Yeah. The 76ers, they're the only team 27 points per game. Averaging at least going 27 crazy. points a night. And that, he, that's superstar numbers. 27? Hey, that's superstar numbers right there. So he he low key turned he a mini superstar. I will say he an all star like he a high all star mini superstar. He a mini superstar right now. Like Anthony there was a high rising. Nah, like if Tyrese best finished the rest of the season, this we can call him a superstar too. Like fuck what y'all talking about. Like he he'll be a top five guard. Like what's the top five guards right now in the league? Number one, guards. I'm talking about just guards alone, self play. I'm gonna say number one, Steph. I know that might sound crazy, but like, I don't think Steph like Steph hooping. He not he's hooping. Like like we talking about individual player. Maybe that's that that is kind of a different kind. Of, but I'm gonna say Steph still. I think Steph just like you know Steph playing pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. Right. Then we can put. I guess you could put Luca. If there's some people saying Steph they number two, I'm not gonna hate. Then number three, you could say Shea. I would say those top three guards in the league right now. Like, like how good they play. Yeah, so individual play we're talking about. So, Steph, Luka, Shea, Maxi, right? We got that, number four. Maxi, number four. So, Steph, Luka, Shea, Maxi. Who the fifth guard? I'm trying to think of. Dame a little slow right now. But I guess, like, who else is really playing? At that point, I, I think that's it. I think that's it. Hmm. Hold on, let me think. I guess you could put uh, Dame in five. I guess you could say that. Oh, De'Aaron Fox. Oh, yeah, De'Aaron Fox. I'm looking right here. Okay, hold on. Okay, whoa. So this is this season? Hold on. Hold on, whoa. I guess you could... Hmm. Trey even hooping this year. Damn. Okay. I guess you could say Luca number one. Steph number two. Right now, I guess you could say Luca number one. Whatever. Then you could say. Damn. I guess. Okay. Shay number two, I guess. Right. Whatever. Curry three. But Curry could be number two, one. Like, it could just. That, that whole list could. Like, them top three. Luca's. Luca, Steph, and Shea, they can like, they can just, you can like, just mix up the dominoes and however you put it. I ain't mad at either three. Uh, number four is Maxi. Number five, no, number four is Fox. Number five is Maxi. That's cool. That's he a top five guard. There's nothing wrong with that. Out of thirty guards, he top five. That's in good. The Again. This isn't all because James Harden is gone. A lot of it is the upgrade in coaching, in my opinion. But so far, look at the difference in this team from last year as opposed to this year. They're scoring more points. They're grabbing more rebounds. They're dishing out more assists, more steals, less isolation, a little less efficient, but they're still winning at an even higher percentile. James Harden, we know. He's an iconic, great player that's done a lot for this league. I still, to this day, don't know how James Harden managed to even out his braids and his mohawk. We like I, I'm the only nigga who be thinking about it. like how the fuck did he go from a mohawk to braid? You usually cut mohawk sizes, so you know this ain't the same height as your mohawk. So how the fuck he managed to even it? Uh, like that's what I'm saying. But the drama he gave that organization, it it was never worth it, especially when collectively as a team they're probably a little bit better without him. Kevin Durant being traded to the Suns with Bradley Beal eventually joining, creating another super team. It feels exactly like. Brooklyn West. Right now, they're 2 <laughs> and 10, 7th in the West, and as yeah, loaded as that team looks on paper, they just can't get on the floor. 
It's weird because Kevin Durant always feels like the glue and the most stable. He's yeah. the oldest, like always, and he's still carrying the load. Kevin yeah. Durant at like 35 years old. And this old. be eight, not be I'm just like, damn, KD whole time, he not really a problem. Like, like KD actually hooping. You know what I'm saying? Like, KD hooping, man. Like, he trying. You know what I'm saying? But nobody helping him. KD, KD trying out there. You know what I'm saying? He the only one. He might well just say, fuck and go back to Golden State. At this point, can somebody really be like, oh, it's super team again? Like, not really, right? Like, they could, like, he might well go back to Curry. He's only missed one game. Devin Booker has missed six of the 20 games. Bradley Beal has only played three of the 20 games. And that big three, they haven't played one game together. Literally, all the questions we had when this big three got assembled and why nobody really believed in it, it became a thing as soon as the season kicked off. Yes, these crazy KD big three super teams. They always like look pop crazy up on paper and scary. But this deep into the year, we have no that. idea what it looks like or when we'll have an idea what it looks like. And it feels exactly like Brooklyn. And lastly, the in-season tournament is a major success. Personally, I really didn't mm. know what to expect with this and how exactly it was going to look and how exactly it was going to go. But Adam, bro, he truly cooked and made November, December basketball fun. Basketball junkies, they always knew how great Tyrese Halliburton was. Like the man no, he, he guy. I ain't gonna lie. the Pacers, they don't really get many televised games. But now watching him and his team take down the Celtics, one of the heavyweights in the East, and then the Bucks, another mm. one of the heavyweights in the East, and possibly the Lakers with LeBron and AD. Now he and the Pacers, they're on the map now for the world. The old NBA saying of the season doesn't even really start until Christmas, that seems to be over because Adam, he created an environment and something to play for early in the year that never existed. If you guys like this video, please, please, I please guess, but like, like I don't want like the NBA always. to continue to keep changing shit up just to make it come like, I feel like if you want really want it, you'll do it anyway. That's how I feel. That's how I'm just saying, like, like I don't know. I just don't want everything to keep changing up because it's, it's just to be too much and it's kind of tampering with NBA history. But yeah, man, let's see what some of these comments got to say. It's the worst fan said the way the team playing. We started up well. Our weekends got exposed. Seen to be all awards outside of Curry. Nobody played at high level. Drum plays well when he's on the court. I understand. We talk about the Houston Rockets. But yeah, man, that's. I knew this video was going to be long. <laughs> hey, but yeah, this is all.